In the midst of a dark time in the feudal age, one man devoted his life to public duty. He was Jung Yagyong, the greatest Shilhak philosopher in Korean history. Jung Yagyong was a great intellectual, admired teacher, and loving father, whose teachings have been passed down for 200 years. At a relatively young age, he became a renowned scholar. He passed the royal state exam in his teens and received an enviable government position. Although he was one of King Zhengzhou's most trusted ministers, he was sent into exile midway through his career. He spent 18 years in exile based on charges that he was involved in Western learning, which were brought against him in the aftermath of the Xin Yu Saok incident where Roman Catholics were persecuted. It is a huge responsibility to nurture people and guide them towards a purposeful life. Let us learn the duty of a teacher through Zheng Yagyong's teachings. During his time in exile, Zheng Yagyong thought deeply about the political system and how it should serve the people. He was able to see firsthand the hardships and struggles of poor and disenfranchised commoners in his place of exile. He formed a strong belief that effective reforms to benefit people could only be carried out by qualified public servants. He proposed numerous plans for improving the lives of the poor. A new set of civil rights principles which gives power into the hands of the people. Mogui Minyu represented Zhong Yagyong's political beliefs. A 200-year-old message rings through the heart. Due to the many years he spent in exile, he was separated from his two sons. But he maintained contact with his sons by writing hundreds of letters to them. He communicated with them through letters. Zhong Yakyung was reunited with his eldest son after seven years of separation and was greatly relieved to find that he had grown into a fine boy despite his absence. His son was able to find stability thanks to his father's letters. Writing may be the best way to articulate deep thoughts. Zhong Yagyong dedicated his life to synthesizing Neo-Confucian thought and completing the principles of Shilha. As an educator, he taught his students by example, and through his scholarly works, he influenced a great number of people. Transcending time, the teachings of Zhong Yagyong have endured for more than two centuries, and they are drawn from his life experiences that now give other people direction in their lives.